and here. So the ranks that have been assigned to them are are one plus two plus this one here is actually a four point five because it was tied plus seven and plus eight, which gives us one or two is three. There, with that seven is ten. That's eighteen, which also gives us for the sum of the ranks of the females gives us 22.5 but the average rank would be divided up by 5 which would actually be smaller than the average rank for the males okay so now we're in a position to calculate the statistic for the males so we have u of m is equal to the sample size of the males which is size 4 times the sample size of the females which is 5 plus the sample size of the males which is 4 times 4 plus 1 divided by 2 okay minus the sum of the ranks which is 22.5 and if we work this out if we work this out here and uh, we actually end up with a value of this is equal to if i'm not mistaken well that's 20. Uh, 4 times 5 is 20 divided by 2 gives us 10 so that's 20 plus 10. 20 plus 10 gives us 30. 30 minus 22.5 gives us 7.5 okay so that's the first one that's the first u value that's important okay for the females we have uh, well well u of f for the females is the first sample size times the second sample size plus the sample size of the females five times five plus one divided by two minus the sum of the ranks for the females which is oh minus 22.5 get rid of that there okay which gives us a value of four times five excuse me four times five is 20 five plus one is six five excuse me uh, what am I doing here so 4.5 4 by 5 is 20 5 times 6 is 30 divided by 2 gives us 15 so that gives us 35 okay? and 35 minus 22.5 so 35 minus 22.5 is going to give us a value of 13.5 if I'm not mistaken okay so that's the second u value Okay. so we've really got everything done now it's time to choose the smallest because the technique says choose the minimum of u1 and u2 as the test statistic okay, okay. so we've got two possibilities in relation to magnitudes we've got 7.5 and 13.5 and you can see that the smallest one so the minimum in this case is equal to 7.5 okay. and now we're ready to do our test itself so the null hypothesis okay so let's just keep in, keep in mind the sample sizes. N1 for the males is 4. Uh, N2 for the females is 5. Uh, we have the U statistic is equal to 7.5. That's the smaller of the two of them. Okay. Uh, and then we need to set up our hypothesis itself. Okay. So the null position H0 is that there's no difference. There's no difference. Okay. Uh, in the ranks. Okay. Uh, of the groups. Of the groups. But there's no difference between the ranks of the groups. Sorry, my phone is, is firing off there. I'll just get rid of that there. And then the alternative is that there is a difference, okay? That there is a difference uh, in the ranks, okay? Um, to our alpha value, so this is this is the hypothesis, hypothesis, okay? The significance is alpha is equal to 0 0.05. The critical value, the critical values, well, to get the critical value for the distribution, we need to look up a table, and I have a table here that I've taken from that I've taken from uh, Real Statistics, uh, Charles uh, Zayant's uh, page, uh, Real Statistics in Excel. It's a great page to go to. He's done all the work in doing this table, and I need to look up the critical value. So the first sample size is size is size four. There we go. The second sample size is size five. There we are. The critical value associated with that is is one. Okay, so our u critical okay, is equal to 1. So now what we need to do is we need to compare our test statistic to this critical value. And let's just assume that we have some sort of distribution. Okay, We've just figured out our critical value. Uh, it's, equal to, it's equal to 1. Uh, this is our rejection region. Okay, so This is our fail to reject. And this here, this is the way it's set up is this is our rejection region here. Okay, region. And this is our fail to reject fail to reject region over here so we reject the con uh, I suppose let's say the criteria the criteria is we reject if the test statistic is less than the critical value associated with the test statistic in our case our test statistic is 7.5 uh, that's our u our critical value is equal to 1 that's our u crit okay? and clearly 7.5 is not less than 1, so what we do is we fail. 
we fail to reject. So there's no evidence to suggest that the difference that there's a difference between the rankings, the rankings uh, uh, of of our groups. Uh, which is sort of what we figured out earlier on. Well, not that we figured it out, but that was sort of a little bit more. Uh, that was a bit evident when we actually looked at the when we looked at the or the or for the males and the or for the females. The rankings, so some of the ranks was exactly the same. Okay, okay, guys. Once again, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, I hope this video was uh, intuitive, and more importantly, I hope that was helpful for you. For you, and thanks for watching. Okay, bye bye.